model in hand is the uh, GPGL model. So there are three antennas given. The downside first you have to uh, mount the downside antenna. Then the upper side antennas you have to uh, mount it to the uh, unit. So you have to slowly, carefully mount the uh, lower end antenna and upper end antenna. Uh, thereby you have to go to the you have to switch on the unit and it shows the uh, type of water ground water natural water saline water you have to tie a select ground water and you have to select the depth range for example how many feet uh, in this particular scenario i have selected 500 feet uh, maximum depth scenario as per the local hydrological condition we have to select the parameter 500 feet Thereafter, I simply move forward, the machine will rotate me and so over the direction. So as per the machine direction, I keep on moving and so keep on moving as per the machine direction. At one point when the machine rotates or deflects back and forth, there, there is a kind of uh, aquifer underneath. So I am just marking that point with a, a stone. Then the walking direction, north-south direction, east-west direction, I have to mark it out and then i have to follow along the uh, direction north direction south direction um, east west directions and uh, once i cross the aquifer the machine turns back once the machine turns back it takes the reading as per the sensor inbuilt sensor so i have to come to the uh, center position and i have to then go in the other direction you see now i am going north south it was finished then probably I have to go across the east-west. Now, uh, in this direction I go. So it is the east direction I go. The machine rotates back once the aquifer ends off. Similarly, in the other direction also. So, as it rotates back, I have to stop that. So, this ends with our, uh, this confirms and ends with our uh, location search. Then I have to press the OK button to go for depth search. And depth search, I have to make angles 45 degree between northeast northwest and southeast and southwest as i have drawn earlier with the uh, kind of arrow mark so i have to walk along the direction uh, like uh, north uh, northeast direction and uh, southwest uh, northeast northwest southwest and southeast direction so i have to for depth search i have to go at 45 degree angles to north south east and west so the machine deflects by once i walk across the direction so once it deflects by, I have to come back to the original. I have to follow the arrow mark directions northeast or northwest, southeast or southwest. So next, uh, the things are, the, rep the report things are inside the GPGL unit. Then we so now we are taking the GPGL unit near to the laptop. The software is open in the laptop. So now we are pairing uh, these unit, these two are getting paired, and probably the now the data all the uh, there will be a result a CSV file in the GPGL unit. It will be sent to the computer software. We are transferring this unit to our so the report generated in the GPGL machine will be now come now taken to the laptop through the software. So in the software, we are now entering the surveyor name, the customer name, uh, the depth as per the hydrological condition. And now the customer name and as per the hydrological condition, the depth we are uh, searching maybe 200 meters and then uh, like area. Where we are going to search the area location in order to get the exact bore point location in the in the Google Map. So once you enter the value and press the geolocation button, it will take you to the uh, Google Map. Uh, the broader view of the map will come. So we have to zoom in exactly to that point and we have to pick out the uh, coordinate. Otherwise, also it will come, but it will be somewhat close nearby. So in order to zoom the in order to get the exact zoom point you can go to earth profile you can able to identify the area zoom it and then 
you can uh, pinpoint the exact coordinate like uh, this is the exact coordinate this is the exact point this is a street and here we are going to do that so i have picked up the point so this geolocation coordinate comes in so i click it over here so that a mark will be generated over there you can watch it over here and uh, corresponding to that the geolocation coordinate will be uh, generated so i will i will copy this control z i will copy this and i will take this exact bore point location to the software so in the software i am entering the uh, latitude y value then i am cutting down the longitude value and i entering in the la longitude column and uh, the email id i have to enter in the other column to whom this 3d report should be sent so i am uh, writing the email id to whom the report should be sent so once all these parameters are entered, I go and go to the profile section and click the 3D profile to be generated. Uh, so now uh, I am pressing the profile button for the report to be generated. So it will take some time. Let us wait for the profile to be generated. Later one by one, there will be four graphs. These four graphs will be also there in a particular folder from where the software is being run. So I am picking up <coughs> one by one and i will show the correlation between all the four profiles uh, one is for example you see this is the earth depth profile there is a cross section x versus the depth cross section depth wise inside so you can see it says uh, two source earth depth profile there are two source there is one source in the upper end there is a uh, another one good source underneath so there are two sources and you can see one source is at close to 100 something and another source is close to 150 something and okay that is the this is another profile like earth lat long profile which coordinate we have picked up some coordinate now that exact coordinate point you can able to get from this place uh the exact coordinate point to drill and this is the 3d profile uh which uh, 3d map profile with respect to the depth depth frequency and the uh scale uh, horizontal plane scale so in the horizontal plane scale you can see from fourth point you can see the uh, depth profiles with respect to the frequency all it's a three-dimensional map this is the only instrument which gives a 3d kind of profile like this no other machine uh, earth uh, detector machine gives this kind of 3d profile rotary type profile a rotational visualization profile this is the depth frequency uh, profile so once the profiles are generated so it shows as a report for example uh, once you go to the folder where the software is executed you can see the profile report and the result the csv file is generated so i, I click the profile report what are the what is the profile report used to me the pdf report generated by the machine so it is now getting opened if you have pdf it will open in pdf otherwise it is open in internet explorer or chrome let us have a view of this uh, particular 3d profile so all the four graphs which is generated when the software is run are being recorded over here as a PDF. So you the 3D profile, this is the earth uh, depth profile, uh, the other one is the earth latitude, longitude profile, planar profile and the coordinate is also mentioned over here. We click the coordinate, it will go to the Google map and you see the depth frequency profile and the complete report, right? The surveyor name, for whom, the latitude, the longitude, the surface, uh, uh, the type of source at source 2, source 3 and the total BHT and the rock strength analysis, quantum of water, water quality, salinity of the water, permeability of the rock, all parameters are being uh, reported in the 3D profile report. And now, I will, for example, this is generated in the system. If I want to send it to the customer, then probably I have to enter the email ID and click this uh, send report. It uh, uh, sends the report to the uh, customer um, so the report sends to the customer we can see it now uh, where the report is being uh, sent across so so let us wait so i have pressed the send report button and waiting for the report to be uh, sent to the customer email id and yeah so it is now sent and the button comes already sent you see uh, the report generated uh, sent to the customer ID. I'm opening the report and clicking over here. I can see the profile. I can download, I can store, I can put it in my mail. So it is being generated over this place. So this is how the report can be sent to the customer.
So this is a complete explanation about how to software works and other parameters. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, uh, subscribe, and uh, notify the icon button. Thank you.